Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm talking about admission to a dream destination for many, Harvard University. And not just that, but how you can get into Harvard with 100% scholarships. Yes, you heard it right. I'm gonna tell you everything about scholarships at Harvard University. Let's dive in. All right, to begin with, Harvard is one of the oldest universities in the world. It was founded in 1636 and it was named after its first benefactor, John Harvard. It is one of the Ivies and is a private college. Well, it is located in Boston, the capital city of Massachusetts. It's known for its holistic locations and extremely rich modern architecture as well. If you wish to know more about Harvard University, you can go to the link in the description box to my video where I've discussed the details of the university's academic, social, and financial profile and how to prepare to get into Harvard. In this particular video, I will be discussing various scholarship opportunities that you will be getting at Harvard University and how to take advantage of them. Let's hit it up on this university. Now, before we get into the basics of scholarship, let me break down the finances for Harvard. For international students, it lies somewhere between 80,000 to 90,000, including tuition, housing, dining, insurance, and miscellaneous costs. Now, as you can see very clearly, that it's a very expensive university as well. But don't worry, according to Harvard College, one of the Harvard University's division for undergrad, 55% of students receive need-based Harvard scholarships. That means one in five pays nothing to attend. Well, how amazing is that? So let's first understand Harvard's financial aid philosophy. This is important and I want you to listen closely. So let's understand this for the undergraduate students first. Now, Harvard University scholarship for international undergraduate students are limited to need-based aid. Most of the top ranking and Ivy Leagues will have this system, need-based aid, meaning that all aid eligibility is determined by your family's financial circumstances. This is something I've mentioned in my Stanford video as well for getting 100% scholarships. Now, because Harvard is committed to bring the best people to Harvard regardless of their financial circumstances, they follow two important principles. First is its need-blind admissions. What do you mean by that? Well, this means your financial need and your aid application will never affect your chances of being admitted to Harvard. Second is 100% need-based aid. Harvard provides awards on needs, not on merit. This means that financial aid supports the students who will benefit from it most. Furthermore, Harvard meets 100% of their students' demonstrated financial needs. Of course, if your profile is strong enough to get admitted to Harvard. Now, let me tell you a bit more about this. Need-based aid is a type of financial assistance awarded to students based on their or their family's financial situations. Unlike merit-based, which is given to students based on their achievements or talents, need-based aid is determined purely on financial necessity. So, if you can't afford the fee and your profile is very strong, then Harvard will provide you need-based scholarship to get you in, even 100%. But how does this work? So as I explained you in my Stanford video also, every university determines a specific annual income. If your family income is below that number, you're eligible for 100% scholarships. For Harvard, that number for your family's total annual income is about $85,000, that is about 68 lakhs a year. So if your family income is below this number, you can get 100% scholarships. But remember, your family must not have investments in properties or stocks or any other forms to be eligible. If you have a couple of properties investments and their value is high, you might not be eligible for financial aid. That is something you have to figure out. And you can also use Harvard net price calculator to quickly estimate your aid package and expected family contribution. Okay, now let's talk about postgraduate studies. Now, if you're aiming for a 100% scholarship, remember that financial aid plays a crucial role. There are no specific 100% scholarship or fellowship available at Harvard at this moment. Unlike Stanford University, where I listed two scholarships through which you can get 100% scholarships, there is nothing like this at Harvard. But every department and every college has their own criteria of offering scholarships. So make sure you research the scholarship options in your respective department because these departments have independent funding and scholarship opportunities. So make sure to check your department website for possible scholarship options availability. Now, the idea is not to stay focused on one source and that's why Harvard lists external or third party scholarships on its website as well. Now I'm gonna give you some of the main ones which are College Board. Now, and again, it's a mix of UG and PG Board. So first is College Board. College Board has launched a scholarship program, which is about $5 million in scholarships offered each year. So make sure to check your eligibility. Next is Fast Web. Create a personalized profile that can be matched against a database of more than 1.5 million scholarships, totaling to about $3.5 billion, and get notifications of new scholarships and approaching deadlines. The next source is scholarships.com. Search scholarships from nearly 3,000 sources, potentially worth up to $3 billion. Next source is collegescholarships.org. 
Search for scholarships and grants from many different sources and find information on both federal and private financial aid sources. The next one is Unigo. Find scholarships that match your hobbies, interests, and academic background in database and of about 3.6 million awards worth about $14 billion as per the website. Gain tips on finding and applying to scholarships and download scholarship applications as well. Next is Good Call Scholarship Directory. Search for scholarship by the variety of key categories using Good Call's free scholarship matching platform. Next is Scholarship Search by Sally May. Access more than 5 million awards worth over $24 billion. Well, again, this, these are external sources, so you have to do your research and find this out. Now, it is sometimes difficult to secure scholarships from third parties, but if you are really in this dire need, and Harvard is your dream college, then you should leave no stone unturned. And you must visit these third-party scholarship web pages and get some work done to get scholarship for sure. Okay, I'm gonna give you some tips on some scholarships on Harvard University, like what you should do. Well, the first and foremost tip is to research the scholarship opportunities offered by Harvard University. Well, I've given you a lot of details in this video, so I'm sure it will be helpful for you. Your research hours will come now. So visit their official website and carefully read about the various scholarship programs available for undergraduate, graduate, or professional studies. Understand their eligibility criteria, application deadline, and required documents. That is first thing you must do. Second, some scholarship programs might require interviews or other materials as well. So practice your interview skills and submit the paper, prepare the answers to common questions, showcasing your passion towards your chosen field. So be yourself, stay confident, and highlight why you are an excellent fit for Harvard. Okay, so let's talk a bit about admission stats and important factors to get admission to Harvard. Again, I have given all the details in my other video and you can watch it after this video. I want to briefly give you an idea of what it takes to get into Harvard University in this video as well. So this is from the Common Data Set, which releases this information every year to help students and parents understand the admission factors and help them plan their applications as well. Now, sometimes this data could be difficult to understand for parents and students, and that's why professionals like us are needed to help you get admission to your dream university. Okay, now I want to draw your attention to the acceptance rate and more importantly, the numbers of applied versus accepted. So total applied students were staggering 61,000 and accepted students were about 1984, closely 2,000. And giving it are only 3.2% of acceptance rate, which is super crazy. But it is even more competitive for international students. But if you look at the data, it's only 12.8% students who were international. That is only 253 international students from all over the world. So yes, competition is tough. And I'm not scaring you again, but my intention is to prepare you to build your profile and applications to world-class level, as we do with our students in our profile building programs and college admission programs. I want you to do the same thing to get your profile to that level. Now, here's a list of factors indicated by Harvard University, and most factors are considered. Only your class rank, religious affiliation, couple are not considered. Now, looking at this data, I can tell you some very important tips on admissions to Harvard University. Harvard is renowned for its academic excellence, so you will need an outstanding academic record, maintain a high GPA, and take challenging courses. Almost 99% of students who got selected had a GPA of over 3.5 out of 4, and almost 75% of the class had a perfect GPA. So your grades are super important. Consider engaging in research projects, internships, or extracurricular activities that showcase your passion for learning. Now, your application should reflect your unique qualities and experiences. A lot of students, they miss this. Write captivating personal essays that highlight your goals, experiences, and reasons for wanting to study at Harvard University. Make sure your letters of recommendation are from individuals who know you well and can attest to your abilities and character, very important. Harvard looks for well-rounded individuals, so highlight your achievements in academics, leadership, community service, sports, or the arts. Now, create a comprehensive resume that showcases your accomplishments and demonstrates how you can contribute to the Harvard community. Remember, good preparation and guidance can help you get not just good top admissions, but also a great life in the long run. So if you need any guidance for your career and college admissions, make sure to check out my online programs and personalized services in the description box. The main aim is that you get peak success in your life and college admission in life overall. So there you have it, a comprehensive guide on how to secure a 100% scholarship at Harvard. And I hope you remember this. One more thing, the journey might be challenging, but with determination, hard work, and a well-crafted application and good guidance, you can make your dream a reality. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Good luck on your journey. I'm always with you. This is Shirish signing off. Take care.